Being successful at an early stage in life can be dangerous. Back in Indonesia, I was really trapped by my own success. Those times weren't uh, the happiest, I have to say, which is ridiculous sometimes to say when you have such success, you're not happy. Something was definitely wrong. I needed something more. I needed to have uh, some kind of meaning and I was lacking in real life. So I packed up my music. I left Indonesia and left everything that I knew behind. So there I was. I had to work really hard to make things happen in London because no one knew me. I wasn't a celebrity. I worked so hard writing songs, making demos, knocking on doors of record labels. I wasn't used to that kind of work. A lot of sleepless night. There were a lot of going back and forth and meeting people. And so I had to convince people. There were a lot of convincing. When I realized that it wasn't going to happen in London, I was bitter. What stopped me from going back home was the fact that I promised to myself that I would never go back without something. If you try to see a problem in a different angle, it gives you a different solution. So that's what I did. When I decided to move from England to France, it was like an epiphany. After all the rejection, and then all of a sudden I, I got to meet the right people, got to write good songs. And then everything, it was just like um, finding pieces of the puzzle, but all the pieces are in from, well, actually in front of you. It was super exciting all of a sudden. When those life-changing turning points come, you have to be ready and be able to seize the moment. When I look back, I had to go through all that so that I can be who I am today. I'm Angun, and I believe you can change destiny.